good? Okay, welcome back everyone. Uh, next part of the how to do fishing things, I guess, series that we're doing. Um, we are gonna teach you how we play a fish. Although, not because we don't have our stuff. Welcome back everyone. Uh, this is the next part of our how to do fishing things, especially with salmon. We're going to teach you uh, more about fishing itself, fishing for salmon here in Alaska. We're going to teach you how to lay a fish once you've caught one, which you of course will after our fantastic instruction about how to fish. And then later we'll show you how we at least vacuum seal and package it and freeze it for the winter. So let's get started. What we have here is a mat, a cutting mat. We have gloves and we have our salmon uh, that we just caught down on the Kenai and we have our filet knife. So we normally do this at the river, um, but we forgot our filet knife. So that makes it difficult to filet. Normally, we filet the fish right here at the river. We forgot our knife, so we will be filleting it at home. Um, and it's a little bit easier doing it there because we can then um, um, just process the fish and toss the carcass into the water instead of having to try to dispose of it here. But it's okay. <laughs> We're just gonna rinse off as much of the kind of like river slime as we can. Um, that's more a safety for me um, so that the fish doesn't go sliding around on the mat. This mat helps grip it pretty well, um, but it's not perfect. And yeah, it's a big sharp knife, so we don't want it slipping. So the way we like to do it, first of all, nature's napkin is grass. Put my gloves on. Okay. Basically the method is we're gonna slice along the belly and pull out the guts. We then slice behind the gill to like free up the fillet. And then you go down the spine with the knife. Having that bend in the knife is what's going to give you a nice solid clean cut along the spine and break through all the ribs and give you that nice long fillet, like single cut of fillet that you're looking for. There's also a lot of different ways to fillet a fish. This is how we've sort of learned to do it and what we've come to like doing. I know some people really like to keep the belly um, and they think that's a really good part of the fillet. We don't particularly do that. Um, also, when we cut out the guts, this is a female, she may have some eggs in there, and some people keep those as bait for silvers or for trout and things like that. We're not gonna do that this time. So there are different ways of using the entire fish, um, but we don't know that much about it yet, so we just do what we do. This is how we prepare the filet. It's not the only way, it's probably not the best way, but it's how we do it. So we're gonna start here at the back. Stick the knife in and just saw, 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 saw. Up. The belly. Right. And then you can reach in and pull out all of the guts. And those are those eggs so that this you is still the, Yeah, about. this is the row. This is the eggs here. Okay. So then what we do is one good cut behind the gill. And I can feel right here, I've hit the spine, so I'm not going to dig into it. I'm just going to finish cutting the filet, and now we can kind of get to that. And now, we take the knife in, turn it, get the rest of the filet out of the way. And then this is where we start. To, I'm going to bend that knife and go right along. You can hear this, the bones breaking. I'm just gonna go right along. I'm gonna keep lifting up the fillet so I don't cut off the bottom where I don't want to. And he's also putting pressure on top of the fish yes. to make sure that the knife still goes through as smoothly as possible. Yep. And I'm not great at it, but there we go. So there's a fillet. I left quite a bit in there unintentionally. I definitely could have gotten a little bit closer, but we try. 
Same thing with the other side. Make sure that's cut all the way through. And again, pressure on the knife. Try and make sure I don't cut through the rest of the fillet. So I go along the spine here. Okay. So there we go. There's two fillets. That wasn't the best I've ever done. Um, but yeah, I'm still learning how to do it well. Okay, so the next step, once you have the fillets taken off both sides, is you want to take out the rib bones that you see here. So, this is again, pressure on the knife to make a nice, if you can do it in one sweep, you're pretty damn good. So I'm gonna press really hard into the fillet here so it doesn't move. And I'm gonna get the knife just under the rib cage, again, because I'm trying not to lose any meat. And go right like that. That was not too bad. So we usually get it that far. I usually trim off just the bottom there. And that's it. And then I usually just clean up the skin a little bit. And back here. And for us, that's a pretty good play. I'll check, make sure that there might be little bit right there and then we'll do the other fillet it's always a little bit harder going against your handedness and I kind of messed this fillet up so we'll see how I can okay that's it just trim that off our fillets will get better as the yeah. season goes on. I mean, this, this is, is literally the first, the first, one. first fish I caught this season. Um, so my fillet skills are not up to par. Um, I'm actually a little embarrassed that this is the example that we're showing you, but this is how it goes. I mean, this is it. This is learning how to do stuff. That's it. And then we'll wash them off. Try and get all the scales and everything off of there. And you can see this fish had been snagged before at some point. So we'll see the, the meat merit there may be a little too tough to eat, but we'll cook it up anyway and, and see how it is. This will be dinner tomorrow night. Because this, yeah, this will be, I'm gonna cook this up tomorrow night. If you do, if you do fillet it and decide to cook it, I wouldn't leave it in the fridge for more than a day, maybe two yeah. at max. Um, if you aren't going to use it, then I would package it and put it in your freezer. Yep. We like to use vacuum seal bags to freeze ours. Um, it just keeps them nice and fresh and we can use them throughout the winter. But there are other methods where you can saran wrap and then put into freezer bags, uh, freezer Ziploc bags, which a lot of people like to use as well. Yep. Okay, and that's... For what we're doing here tonight, that's essentially it. So I'm just gonna clean this table up, uh, wash it off, and we'll get the we'll get that salmon into the fridge, and I will cook it up for dinner tomorrow. Maybe I'll film that too. We'll see. That's it, guys. Thanks. Um, again, that's the next part of the how-to um, process Oscan salmon. So stay tuned for the next video that'll come at some point um, where we um, we're gonna vacuum seal the fish and freeze it for the winter. So that's it. Thanks guys for tuning in. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and please keep coming back for more. Thanks for joining us. Okay, welcome back everyone. Uh, this is the next part of our how to do fishing things, especially with salmon uh, here in Alaska. That was awful. <laughs> so basically the method is so what we're going to do first is just off as much as the um, package it. We, we, um, what do we do? 
process the rest of it and package to put in the freezer. Yes, we vacuum bag it. Vacuum seal it. Wow. It's late. It's late on a Sunday. <laughs>